with another episode in the third installation of the gotta go fist um where we predict what cards could possibly come out in speed duels which cards could be better that we already have um down the line as well and today we got the feature of both something we can predict and something that is going to definitely get better as time goes on so without further ado let's get right into it so what card what card can possibly, just possibly be relevant? That could possibly be in the speed duel box. Um, very simple. It's a Kai of a card, at least in my opinion it is. Uh, Ancient Lamp. <clears throat> lamp. Um, you like it, the moths like it. Hey, Kevin, Kevin, watch the light, dude. <laughs> lamp, right? So what does Ancient Lamp do? Why is it gonna be relevant? You know, all, all, all the good stuff, right? Um, so let's go over what Lamp is. Um, Ancient Lamp here is obviously a win level three uh, spellcaster effect monster with 900 attack and 1400 defense, whose effect states, when this face down defense position card is attacked by your opponent's monster, you can make one opponent's monster except the attacking monster be the attack target instead. When this card is face up on the field, you can special summon one little Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp, from your hand. Um, so let's go over this, right? <clears throat> Obviously, it's great as a defensive card, uh, even though it only has 1400 attack. If your opponent's going to get greedy and put more monsters on the field, you can make them attack something else instead, especially if they attack into it face down. Uh, so really, really great. has its own protection uh, for one attack. And if we ever got some way to flip monsters face down with a quick effect, uh, this card becomes even better, right? Second of all, and probably kind of one of the more important things, is it allows you to special summon another monster. Special summoning is something that's far and few in between in speed duels. Um, outside of something like a token generator or a, uh, you know, gill source that allows you special summon, there's not really a lot um, available at the moment. Um, hopefully in the future there will be a little bit more special summoning outside of things that require skills. I mean, obviously stuff like Santa Claus and um, Lava Golem, but there's just not too, too much. There are other monsters that recruit and special summon, um, but it, it's not enough. Um, I want something that I can do on my own, that I don't have to respond to my opponent. I don't have to waste a skill effect, right? Um, so seeing this and then being able to see Lejeune as well in speed duels. Uh, I know some people have been asking for it for a long time. Same thing with uh, Summon Skull. And I think it's fine. Uh, there's nothing too broken here. Uh, it's a good one for one type of ability. There are easy ways to play around it, obviously, right? Um, but it would be nice to play um, Lejeune too. It's an easy way to put two monsters on board. <clears throat> You know, maybe you set this, their opponent attacks into it, if they have the ability to summon two monsters, right? Um, and then you get to tell them to attack the other thing instead, and then during your turn you special summon, tribute off, now you got a two tribute monster on the field. Yeah, okay, maybe. It's pretty good. So hopefully in the future we see something like this. I would love to see Ancient Lamp and Lejin come into speed duels. Uh, I'm hoping they come in this box. If not, oh well. We'll move on, but um, it'd be really, really cool to see these cards be in speed duels. I think they would have their functions, um, especially being wind. Um, we talked about in episode one, we talked about Desert Twister. Go check out that video too. But we talked about Desert Twister, um, so maybe we have another wind monster that we could potentially play as well. So it'd be really, really interesting. But let's move on to something we do have. Something that is gaining traction and you may have seen on cursive's channel and you may have seen on you know some other <clears throat> speed duel uh yugi tubers uh and that card funny enough right <laughs> is your boy uh stray lambs and we're gonna put the tokens out here too just for aesthetics here so stray lambs where's the lamb sauce where's the lamb sauce you like stray lambs because it's the only scapegoat that we'll have at the moment and it basically is scapegoat um except it produces two tokens instead of four it's not a quick play spell um 
but it does say special summon the two tokens and it gives their typing and everything and uh, but it says you cannot uh summon other monsters the turn that this card is played right but you can set monsters and this is where the genius comes in um because we have seen um people playing stray lambs and realizing that these are just technically normal monsters um because they don't have any effects on them and so you're seeing people play creature seizure to take an opponent's monster give them a lamb token um, and you're also seeing people play Order to Charge to get rid of the token and then pop an opponent's monster. You're also seeing um, Order to Charge, I mean not Order to Charge, Order to Smash to see back row destruction. And you're also seeing them tribute um, other cards, uh, e even including the lambs uh, and setting monster face down. And more often than not, sometimes it's Jinzo. Um, Jinzo is being set, and then your opponent will attack into it after they summon their Zomas, and they will go to the back row before damage calc. Um, <laughs> it's funny, um, and I think it's great. I would love to see more people play Stray Lambs, and I think moving forward, we're definitely going to see be a lot more people playing Stray Lambs, um, just for that effect. Um, because having the ability to generate uh, advantage a plus one advantage and then being able to use cards like uh, order to charge to get rid of um, other cards is <laughs> really really great uh, not to me mention creature seizure um, because oh boy creature seizure is one of those underutilized cards now unfortunately um, there's no real way to search stray lambs and that's always something we're always looking for I mean yeah you can play a lure of darkness crystal seer yeah maybe you play a lot of crystal seers and things like that um, just to dig through the deck maybe play a prince magician to um, you know deck then you know things like that or maybe you just play a lot of stall cards where you can just draw into it yourself who knows uh, maybe you play the skill uh, for uh, Yugi uh, to allow you to search for this card when you take 1500 points of damage instead of having to um, hard draw it, right? Um, but this card is going to be very, very important uh, moving forward, uh, especially when we get stuff that requires a lot more tributes, uh, god cards. Um, being able to use this and then saying, okay, go ahead, and then keeping these tokens alive. Um, and if your opponent's really going to waste a... Um, you know, offerings to the doomed on tokens, um, they're crazy. <laughs> I guess they really wouldn't want, um, you know, especially stuff like Obelisk, um, can't be targeted. Um, definitely would like to see these gone, I guess. Long story short, though, is that this definitely is going to be a lot more relevant, um, moving forward. Um, and I hope People, more people see that. I know people like Curse of um, have seen how well um, Stray Lambs works uh, against you know other people he's played against that have played it against him, and I, I believe he has um, a video on it, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But with that being said, um, <laughs> this is going to be great. And so is Creature Seizure, but mainly this. This is what allows Creature Seizure to be good. Stray Lambs is amazing. <laughs> so, if you're playing Speed Duels, um, find your Stray Lambs, set them aside, and go buy one of each of these tokens just because. Because they're awesome. And they're cheap right now, so why not, you know? Um, no harm in buying cheap things right now. So with that being said... Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think this episode of Gotta Go Faced was worth it? Uh, did you like it? If so, leave a like, a comment, maybe give us a subscribe, a share here or there, you know, all the normal stuff we always say. And uh, yeah, this was Kevin with Pog Pogs. Until next time, guys. See ya.